This tutorial will outline how you can modify the color of the sky in your images using a few basic techniques. The color of the sky in this example is a little gray, and we want it to be more blue. We're going to start by using the magic wand tool to make a selection of the sky. We have the wand tolerance set to zero, and we're going to click on an area of the sky and drag outwards with the mouse to expand the selection, but not so much that other areas of the image get selected. Now we still have some areas of the sky that weren't selected, so we're going to make sure we have Addition Mode selected in the Inspector Palette, and we're going to add those areas to our current selection, still using the Magic Wand tool. And we'll just click and drag in each of these little areas. Now we're going to select a little area of the lighthouse just to show what you would do if you had over selected an area that you didn't want selected. So now we're going to change to subtraction mode in the inspector palette. And we're going to zoom in on this area of the image using the zoom tool, keyboard shortcut Z. Now let's switch to the freehand selection tool using keyboard shortcut Shift M. And now we're just going to drag out the area that we want deselected. And once that's looking good, we'll zoom back out again. Our selection is looking pretty clean. Now go to layer, new layer with selection. Choose the Gradient tool from the Tools palette, keyboard shortcut G, and create a gradient to adjust the sky color. We're going to change one gradient tab to blue and the other to transparent. Then change the blending mode to overlay. Now draw the gradient out over the selection. If you aren't happy with the colors you chose, you can always hit Command Z to undo the gradient. But once things look good, then go ahead and deselect Keyboard Shortcut Command D. You can see what your image looks like with and without the changes you made by toggling the visibility icon on the sky layer. And that's how easy it is to change the color of the sky in your images using Acorn.